Sarah Tiffany here with Years of Years, and it's this day in Disney for December 10th. And today we are headed back all the way to 1879 with the birth of someone very special. Ernest Howard Shepherd was born in St. John's Wood, London. And he is special to all of us and especially known for illustrations that he did for Winnie the Pooh and The Wind in the Willows. So he um, was very classically trained. He attended the Royal Academy School, uh, winning a Lancer Scholarship in 1899 and then a British Institute Prize in 1990. So he met his wife there, Florence Eleanor Chaplin, and she also was a talented artist. So very artistic family there. And they were married in 1904. So in 1906, he had by then become a successful illustrator, illustrating Aesop's Fables, David Copperfield, and Tom Brown school days. Um, and he worked for Punch, uh, which was basically a weekly magazine of humor and satire. And he worked there for many, many years. It was the bulk of you know his career was working there at Punch. And so while he was working there, one of his associates actually uh, recommended him to A.A. A. Milne. So that was E.V. Lucas. And um, that's how A.A. A. Milne found out about Shepherds and his work. And he wasn't quite sure at the time if, if he was right to illustrate Winnie the Pooh. And so, um, when they, he went ahead and had a book of poems that he wanted him to illustrate, when, which was called When We Were Very Young. And that was very successful, and people really loved the illustrations of that. And that's when A. Mel knew this is the right illustrator for um, the adventures, the many adventures of Winnie the Pooh and all the, the books that he'd be writing. So I know out there, um, we've talked about, I've even said, you know, that, um, you know, Winnie the Pooh was based off of A. A. Milne's son's bear, but I just found out that <laughs> there's also a counter story that Winnie the Pooh was based off of uh, Shepherd's son's bear, <laughs> which was named Growler. So, <laughs> not really sure which one of those is the the true. That was so far back, but I imagine both bears maybe had some influence or were seen by the illustrator for sure. So, um, you know, A. Mellon was very happy with all the body of work that um, Shepard had done to an illustrate Winnie the Pooh. And actually, with his royalties, um, uh, Shepard was to receive a share of the royalties and Milne also inscribed a copy of Winnie the Pooh with the following personal verse which said, when I am gone, let Shepard um, decorate my tomb and put, if there is room, two pictures on the stone, Piglet from a page 111 and Pooh and Piglet walking 157. And Peter, thinking that they are my own, will welcome me to heaven. So, so sweet and just a good way to commemorate really the what um, Shepard had done for bringing Winnie the Pooh to life visually um, for, for the books for all of us, really. So it was awesome. But unfortunately for Shepard, he, he did resent our silly old bear a little bit because it really, um, those illustrations and everything that he did, it was so popular, but it overshadowed much of the other work that he did. Um, so that's kind of sad. But he actually served in World War I and was a very decorated soldier. And then he actually um, also wrote two autobiographies. Uh, one was drawn from memory, and the second autobiography was drawn from life. So I think those would be worth reading. Very interesting. So in 1972, he gave his personal papers to the University of Surrey, 
and um, that's in the E.H. Shepherd archive. He actually, him and his wife, Eleanor, had two children, uh, Graham and Mary. They were both illustrators. Unfortunately, Shepherd was lost, um, and when his ship sunk. Um, in 1943, the Polly Anthos was sunk by German uh, German sub, so he didn't go on to have a big illustration career like his father, even though he was very good at it. And then also Mary was an illustrator, and she actually married the editor of Punch there at the time, Evie Knox, and she is known as the illustrator for the Mary Poppins books. <laughs> I had no idea. That's so cool that they're connected and that that's um, her father and um, and that she did the, the Mary Poppins books. It's really sweet. So, um, you know, Shepard was a classically trained man thinking he was born all the way back in 1879 and the world back then was so different. So by 1966, when they released Winnie the Pooh and the Honey Tree, he actually considered it a travesty. <laughs> and, you know, I mean, I can understand. It was just a different time and yeah, he didn't necessarily like what they did with the animation of that or the story. Maybe it didn't just embody everything that he did and a mill had done, done with, um, you know, the written work of Winnie the Pooh. So it's kind of sad, but he gave us so much. And because of his artistic ability, we were able to see all our favorite characters come to life and he's the originator of that so really cool learning about him and i hope you guys enjoyed that he has some biographies go look at the original artwork if you haven't seen that or haven't seen it in a while refresh your your memory but <laughs> you know we had the bedding um for our daughter um cadmium when she was little we had the original um you know drawings was on all her baby bedding so, um, you know, we're fans of Winnie the Pooh, <laughs> especially the original work too, so it was really fun. But that's it for this day in Disney, and we'll see you guys next time.